So we got the old Ford into the shop itself, and we're gonna see if we can get this thing started before we even begin doing anything else. So Robbie, who's the great mechanic here, we're gonna jump from this coil. We're gonna run a wire from here to the battery. By doing this, it just bypasses pretty much everything. So that way we don't run into any issues of burning down this truck because we don't know anything about it. So that's all we're gonna do. It's kind of like your old lawnmower or your car where you stick your screwdriver in there and you see if she'll run. That's what we're doing. Just the more safe route, I guess. So we at least got it turned over so we know it's gonna do something. It's not just completely junk. It's, it's just junk, but it is what it is. Yeah, we got a new carburetor on here. Looks a little better than the other one. Here my fuel filter. We just got this line hooked up to the manual pump for now into this tank. We're gonna see if we can get her to run on its own. With no spray. Is there anything in that pump? Nothing. Ain't got no gas in it yet. Nothing in it yet. It ain't got no gas in it. Uh, all the wheels are off. Got gas now. One idle. <laughs> that sounds pretty uh, loud to me. And I adjust your. See if it's even got vacuum on it. We got all the wheels off of her now. the wheels off and now we're working on getting off the drums off the back so after that we're gonna start taking these lines apart and the sucky part is a lot of them are rusted but they're all there so we may not have to be too big of a bear if you got a torch that always comes in handy but we're gonna tell you if these inline tube lines are any good so far a couple of them have needed to be bent that looks pretty good it's getting better um, I will say that as well as some of their fuel lines too So we had the fuel line going from the tank to the carburetor and the and the fuel pump and stuff So that was kind of crappy, but so far these look like they line up pretty good Maybe they need a little bending but kind of see where we go Every once in a while you like to know how to uh, Just like that Oh, 
not too bad. Nothing really, gro I don't see any like grooves, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. The cheese are pretty thick on it, really. Money shot. Ooh. Look at that thing. So messing with these old trucks, one thing I'll say is you, you really don't want to look around on this thing. Like, like you want to focus on the project that you're working on. So like, what what is what is this? Anyways, mm. I'll throw these bad boys in here, get them washed. Yeah, a little before. They've been sitting for a while. Well, what are you gonna do next? Get this other drum off. So they got all use of their brake pads. I'm glad we're doing this. That bearing doesn't look bad though. Maybe a little dry. Where you want to start? I'm gonna start on this little cubicle right here. Take all these off, and then we'll just do one at a time. We'll do this line first. Yeah, are you gonna spray those? Hey. Okay. Fun part. Yep. Alright, I believe this is the one for this. So, this piece goes let's, back. Let's get that. Did you get that one out? Yep. Good boy. So. You this, think that's the one for that? It has to be. It curves in, doesn't it? Did you match it up with that one? Well, that one, there's a little different. Yeah, it looks like it. You're right. That looks like it's gonna be a tour in it. Yeah, they stuck them off through this. What is what is that? Your, your arm. With them bolts. What is it? That's the steering column. Can we uh is it going behind? Did it go right here? Yeah. yeah or did it go all the way behind? It goes all the way through here. What I'm saying, can you see these two lines? Is that where it ran through? Yep. Well let's just loosen these okay. gear bolts. Okay. And she'll be able to slide it up behind it. Okay. Right. Yeah. I want to take it. All right. There's that. Moving along on the brakes. Start with these cut backs. Fuel line's ready to go, it just needs to be pushed up there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do? Try to drop that electric line. Yeah. To the point where all that. Stuff is ready to be tidied up. There's a new gas line. Is that the connector right there? Yeah. More connector? Yep, this connector. Okay. Freaking nuts is done! This. So we need to, I think we need to lift this piece right over there. Yeah, we need to pop. Pop that coffin off. Pop both these out of here. Get the water up above like that. Okay, now we got it. Okay. Now we should be able to pop all that back here. Okay, yeah. Same way. Here's the new fuel line. A new rubber hose. A new brake line. We're trying to put it under these clips. Yeah, we figured out. Use a pick. Oh, nice. <laughs> I want to squeeze these brake lines back under these clips. Push it. One thing I will say about inline tube is a lot of the crap you have to bend yourself. So that kind of sucks. But otherwise, it seems to be going okay. I don't know. We haven't crimped anything or 
<laughs> pinched anything just yet, so that's a plus. Pull down that fuel. There it is. There you go. Hey, everything should be in place. Yeah. If you get the back ones in. Yeah. The only thing you gotta do is tighten these two. Yeah. That one there, I've had to bend a lot. Yeah. Yeah, toward, yeah. When, you, when you start getting it to where you need to screw it in there, I've had to definitely manipulate that one quite a bit. And what I want to do is get it where we can go ahead and bolt the steering. Yeah, that's, that's that'd be good. Yeah. And then the fuel line now. You gotta put that clip up top. Yeah. Here, let me put this pick in there. Can you see it? Yeah, okay. You got it? Yep. There we go. Back here, they've got all new, all the way across. We're still waiting on these hoses to come in, so that way we can get these replaced as well. All the way across, into the drums, and then we'll be doing hardware. So the brakes will come out, we'll put all new hardware, all new wheel cylinders. So we are slowly coming along on this. The next thing we're gonna do, is I'm gonna go ahead and get this master cylinder off and replace these lines here. And we got all new stuff, so that's where we're at. If you're new, make sure you subscribe while you're here. And if you've ever used inline tube or anything, let me know.